Welcome to the Brocade Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Uh, today we're going to talk about how to configure a stack trunk. So um, where this would be used for if you have a stack between switches and you need more bandwidth or for whatever case you want to run more than one port uh, stack port between devices and you need instead of a stack port you need a stack trunk command. So let's look at how that gets configured. So uh, if we look at our command line We'll do a show run here. Um, so under the show run, I have three units in my stack, right? And I have these stack ports, which are the defaults on a 7250, uh, 1 slash 2 slash 1, 1 slash 2 slash 3, um, 2 2 1, 2 2 3, you know, 3 2 1, 3 2 3. So let's say I have, if we look at our, um, if I do a show stack, we'll see what our topology looks like. So I have basically one connection between each of those switches, right? So between switch one and switch two here, I have one, two, one connects to two, two, one with a single port. So let's, uh, so those are 10 gig ports, but let's say I want to add 20 gigs between my switches. Now, one of the caveats is if I'm creating a trunk, those trunk ports have to be, um, uh, one two one and one two two, or you know one two two and one two three. They have to be um, sequential numerically, right? I can't do, uh, I can't make one two one and one two three a stack trunk because they're not they're not sequential numbers. So they have to be sequential. Um, and so so how do we do that? And we want to implement that trunk without losing connectivity. So we plug the 10 gig cable in. Uh, and now make sure that you have a, a license, right? If you have a two port license, you're only going to be allowed to have two 10 gig ports. In my case, I have a, I have the eight port 10 gig license installed, so I can use more than two of those 10 gig ports. And so I have that already running. So I'm going to go to config T and then I'm going to go into stack unit one. So what I want to do is I want to take one to one instead of being a stack port I want that to be a trunk port uh, however I can't just remove that stack port or I'm gonna lose connectivity um, uh, temporarily to that device so what I'm gonna do we have lots of choices here but I'm gonna use the multi stack trunk command and the multi stack trunk command allows me to create both sides of that at the same time right so um, I'm gonna do a multi dash stack dash trunk and then it wants to know the first switch so from one slash two slash one to one slash two slash two in this case and I'm going to do the other side at the same time so two slash two slash one to two slash two slash two hit enter on that so I now um, it's it, you know, it's going to relook at that, make sure it doesn't have to run an election, which it does not. So then, if I do a show stack again, what I now see is instead of just having a hyphen there, I have an equal sign at both ends. So that equal sign means that I have a trunk. I have more than one port. It doesn't say how many ports I have, but I have more than one port, so I know that there's a trunk there. Uh, and if we look at the run and config, I now see the stack trunk here, one, two, one, one, two, two, and then at the other side, two, two, one to two, two, two. So easy as that. If you want to add more bandwidth, you can do it on the fly, you know, while your stack is alive. You could have done it manually. Um, so if you were building the stack manually, you could have also done that with, with uh, stack trunk commands at the beginning. Um, but that's the easiest way to do it is just to do it with the, uh, the multi-stack trunk command. All right, so that's it. Thanks for joining. Take care.